Hey everyone, it's Bia here for Tuesday. I know this video is going to be up late, but as I'm sure most of you guys can tell, I'm um, still a student in high school, so I had school today and I'm making this video after school. Alright, well today's topic that I picked is, um, someone wrote in about how to let go of the scale once they're in recovery and um this is a topic I can really um relate to because there back when I was really suffering and really sick I would weigh myself every morning af after I woke up I would weigh myself when I got home after school um I was in eighth grade then and so I, I had a scale in my room, actually, so it was pretty, like, it came such a natural thing for me to do. And habits are really hard to break. Then when I was in recovery, you know, weigh-ins were needed for, you know, keeping track on my weight and stuff like that. So, you know, we had to go through with them. And technically, my parents are supposed to be hiding the scale in my program and um but I remember there were there was a year or so where I would search for it at least four times a week maybe and by search for it I mean like tearing up the house and looking for the scale because I was so desperate to know what that number was it's a number it would consume my life and I know that's how many of you guys our viewers are feeling sorry are feeling how it consumes your life completely it's all you think about I know I've been there I'm out of there so I'm just gonna try and give you guys some tips on how to like you know break away from that like lock of the scale but, you know, when it comes down to it, it's all you. You have to, um, just use that willpower for good. Alright, so, um, it takes about, for something to become a habit, it needs to be done 30 times. Or 30 days, you know, once a day, 30 days, you know, 30 times. And, um, until it becomes a habit and you'll start to do it, like, every day. Now, no one said this is going to be easy. Trust me, it's very hard. Um, but if you're, if you're my age, or just living with parents, you know, even if you're older, you know, whatever, ask them. Hide the scale. Give it to a sibling. Throw it out would be better, actually, but, you know, I know that some people just aren't ready for that, and that's fine. But, um, get rid of it, even just for a trial period, for a month. It's a month out of your life. Think about it. A month out of, hopefully, a long life that you're going to live. You know, do it for 30 days. Don't weigh yourself. You know, don't depend on a number. Depends on how you feel that day. It's a lot. I mean, there's other issues with dealing with um, how you feel and how sometimes what you feel isn't true, but that's another video. Um, really, I know, I remember when I, like I said, I used to weigh myself all the time. Even when I was an outpatient in recovery and stuff, which I still am in. I remember just... I just got so sick and tired. There comes a day when you're just so mad at depending on a number. You're just, oh my god, it went up 0. 0.5. I'm going to go, you know, do something very destructive. Fill in the blank for what you do. Um, There just comes a day when you just have so sick of it. Half a pound. And you're upset. And it ruins your entire day. 
Really? Think about that. Is that logical? No. And so I just, I was like, you know what? I know this isn't good for me. I really love weighing myself in some sick, twisted way. But I know it's not good for me. And I know the only way that I'm going to be free from this is if I don't weigh myself. Because that is one of the major factors, one of the keys. Get rid of that scale. Break it. It's really fun. Take a hammer to it. You know, but it's pretty fun. Like, you know. Anyways. Um, but really, what I did is I just stopped for a few days. Just stopped. Sure, I wanted to know what my weight was. I'm not going to lie to you guys. It's not like you just turn off the switch. But, you know that willpower we all use to not eat or to purge or to exercise, you know, whatever. Um, use that willpower to not step on that scale. Trust me. Um, but yeah, I mean, seriously, just... Do it for a few days, and it'll fall out of your agenda. You can break habits. Habits can be broken, just like they can be made. And a new habit can be to not weigh yourself. And re so, really, what the best thing you could do is throw your scale out, break it. That's fun. I think that'd be really fun. I don't even. I don't. I don't know where my scale is right now. I haven't known for a couple months, and I'm really proud of that because. You know, it, like I said, 24-7, I was caring about it. I I hate being weighed now, and it's not because I hate, you know, knowing what the number is. I think it's just because I just don't like the hassle. You know, I just, I, I don't want to measure myself with some number that I've grown to hate somehow. And neither should you because, and I know you guys have heard this a million times, that you shouldn't, um weigh out how much you're worth and all that stuff. I mean, it's all true, but I know you hear it a lot. And sometimes, but it, it just has to get into your mind. There's nothing really, you know, just, you have to get rid of that scale. Listen to what I'm saying, please. I do not weigh myself anymore. Sure, there are still some days where, oh, I'm having a fat day. But why go on a scale? Why find out? Because we all know, I mean, your weight fluctuates five pounds in a day due to just liquids and regular body fluctuations. You're weighing yourself five times a day. That's going to be pretty depressing for anyone, eating disorder or not. Get rid of that scale, guys. It does nothing for you. I mean, there's nothing really that I can say that's going to, you know, I'm, I can't go to all of your houses or whatever and get rid of your skills for you. It's something you have to do, and that can be a very therapeutic, hard process. So reach out for help, you know. If so, I know some of you aren't open with your parents or siblings or roommates or whatever about your eating disorder, but that it's going to make it harder. And I know like you guys see support groups that are going to, they can help you. You got to get rid of that scale and it's the only way to not measuring yourself worth with the, excuse me, with the number. <sighs> Comes down to that willpower that you have, which I know you have. You know you have it too. Because no one deserves to weigh themselves out like their self-worth. Really, was that what we're made for? No, like, weigh, like literally weighing out our self-worth? Oh, today I'm X number of pounds. That's half pound more than yesterday. I must not be worthy enough to live out my day now. You know, you're listening to that, that sounds stupid. You're listening to it, so it sounds stupid. Take it into consideration. Take my advice. Take your own advice, because I know deep down you guys know it's not right. Throw out those scales, break them, give them away. Just try.